so a lot of times people ask, um, so I think I might be called to, I want to, I might be called, I want to do God's will. How do I know? How do I know if this next decision I'm going to make is what God actually wants? Or how do I know if it's actually maybe just something that I want? Well, here I just want to give you a couple tools, a couple tools for discernment. Um, and I guarantee you, if you follow these special, special, they're not that special, they're kind of simple. If you follow these simple guidelines for discernment, I guarantee you 100% chance of never missing your vocation. That's also to say a 100% chance to actually knowing what God wants you to do with your life. Okay, you ready for these things? It involves three questions. You have to ask yourself these three questions on a regular basis. But before we go into those three questions, there's two things you need to know. And these things are so fundamental that they probably you probably learned them when you were like three years old. Here's the number one thing. Number one fundamental principle is this. God knows you better than you know yourself. Boom, there it is. So God knows you better, better than you know yourself. That means that God knows why you're on this earth. He knows why he made you. He knows why you go through the stuff that you go through. He knows what you struggle with. He knows what makes you happy. He knows what will make you the most happy. So God knows you better than you know yourself. He actually knows that as I said, better than you do. Number one, fundamental truth. God knows you better than you know yourself. Number two, fundamental truth. God loves you better than you love yourself. So what that means is that thing that makes you happy, that's what God wants for you. The thing you're made for, he actually wants you to find out. So your vocation, why, he, why you're on this earth, he wants you to know your vocation. It's not like God is out there with some kind of like, he expects us to be Sherlock Holmes, you know, and notice all the little details of things. He just, no, actually he wants us to discover his plan for our lives. So why? Because he knows you better than you know yourself and he loves you better than you love yourself. So that means one huge truth, the one huge truth is this, you can trust God. You can trust him. That it's not, he's not trying to fool you. It's not one of these things where like you get to the end of your life and if you didn't find, figure, out, figure out your vocation or something, you go to the pearly gates and God's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you were so far off. Like you were not even close. Like, man, I totally fooled you as if God is trying to trick us. No. Number one, you, God knows you better than you know yourself. Number two, God loves you better than you love yourself. So that means this, you can trust him. Okay. Now, with that in mind, that you can trust God. All you have to do is this. Ask yourself these three questions on a regular basis. We'll say every day. Okay, don't get obsessive about it, but just come on. Okay, number one question is this. Am I in a state of grace? Now, what a state of grace is, is this. It means I don't have any, con I'm not conscious of mortal sin. So, serious sin that I knew was a serious sin, I freely chose to do anyways. If I'm aware of any of those things, get to confession. So, number one question, am I in a state of grace? If if no, get in a state of grace, go to confession. If yes, go down to question number two. Question number two, am I doing my daily duties? <laughs> Duty, D-U-T-Y, D -U -T -Y. not the other kind. Am I doing my daily duties? Which basically is to say, okay, what, how do I know what my, what my daily duties are? Well, look at your calendar or your school schedule or whatever it is if, you're, if, you're, if you go to work and say, okay, what am I supposed to do today? Well, am I doing those things? Am I showing up to class on time? Am I getting my homework done as best as I can? Am I living up to the obligations my parents or my job or whoever my coach is placing on me? Am I doing that as best as I can? If no, well, start. If yes, wonderful. Move on to question number three. Question number three is this. Did I pray today? Did I even talk to God once today? Did I give him any time today? Now, the reason those three questions are so important, number one, Am I in a state of grace? Number two, am I doing my daily duties? And number three, did I pray today? Is because if you have said yes to all three of those things, then you can totally be at peace. Because if you are in a state of grace, that means you're plugged into God. When we're out of the state of grace, it's kind of like we've disconnected the whole thing. Imagine like a TV. You're, hit, you're pressing on, you're pressing off, you're trying to do the channels, trying to do the volume, but it's not plugged in to the wall. What's going to happen? Nothing. Now, God's more powerful than electricity, so he can probably get through to us, even in that kind of state. But don't you want to help him? So, if you're not in the state of grace, we're unplugged from our source of power. So, plug back in. Through what? That's right. Sacrament of reconciliation. Wonderful. Number two, am I doing my daily duties? People walk around and they say, oh, what does God want me to do with my life? What does God want me to do with my life? What does God want me to do with my life? How about this? Slow down. What does God want you to do today? Well, it's a mystery. I mean, I don't even know. Well, actually, I think you might know. 
If you made an obligation to go to school, if you have an obligation to your family or to your work or to your coach or to your whatever, well then, God wants you to honor your obligations. He wants you to honor your commitments. So, God's will for you today is what's on your calendar. Just do that. But all these extra things? Not necessarily. Just start there. Start with what you've got on your plate right now. Do your best. Perfectly? Don't worry about perfectly. Just do your best. Because if I get used to saying yes to my calendar every day and saying, this is God's will, yes, 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 all of a sudden, here comes God and he reveals to you, here's my will, God says, for your life. Well, you just trained yourself by saying yes to him every single day. Therefore, this leap to say yes to him for what he wants for your life is not really a leap. You've already said yes every day, right? That makes sense? Okay, great. So number one, state of grace. Number two, daily duties. Number three, am I praying today? Because people walk around and wonder, I wonder what God wants, I wonder what God wants, I wonder what God wants. Well, stop for a second and let him tell you. That's prayer. Let him talk to you. Well, how? Let him talk to me where? Let him, God doesn't speak to me in this big, loud voice, Father Mike. How can I know what he wants me to do? Well, A, he wrote a book, or at least the church, knowing that God inspired certain authors, put together these books. These are God's love letters to you. In it, he reveals what, who he is. He reveals who you are. In it, he speaks to you. In the liturgy, like the Mass and stuff, he speaks to you. So, pray. Meditate on his word. Receive the sacraments. I'm telling you, if you, I guarantee you, if you do those three things, stay in a state of grace. And if you get out of it, get back in. Do your daily duties. If you stop, we'll start again. And praying. And if you missed a day of prayer, well then, start up today. All you've got is today anyways. If you do those three things, I'm promising you, there is no way that you could ever, ever miss God's call for your life. It's 100% guaranteed. Why? Because God knows you better than you know yourself. He loves you better than you love yourself. You can trust him. So, start with the three questions. My brothers and sisters, may the peace of God dwell in your minds, in your hearts, and in your lives, now and into eternity. God bless you.